we are going to see some practical hands on session on tracer usage we need to click on this button to open the tracer window you can go to settings see here as you can see here whenever i click on settings then also some events are coming because whenever you click on settings here you see in the back end execute some rules so we are getting all these rules because here all the fair rules are also selected whenever you click on settings prpc engine will uh, you need to execute some rules then only will get another pop up right that code is present in pega rule sets those are also checked so th these all rules are getting executed deselect all you need to select your application rule set so that you can get less number of events you can select clear so that it clears all the existing rows or events each row is an event currently i have paused the tracer execution because i want to trace in some other section not the first or second section so it is waste to trace launching a case then launching a case will be slow yes i want to trace now trace when i press submit in the select services section because in the next section in the review section i am not getting whatever i am adding here for example uh, here I am going to add quantity as one. In unlock and replacement key, but in the next section I am getting some other rows. So for that I I have entered this. Now I have pressed the play button in the tracer. Now I am going to press submit. See. I have added two other rows, but here two other rows are coming, not the ones which I have added. That's why I know that error is coming at this point. I want to debug at this point. I want to know what is happening in the back end from that step to this step, from that assignment to this assignment. That's why before the occurrence of the error event or before the occurrence of the problem situation, I have run the tracer. Now I will see what. As you can see here, now we will not get any error or fail step. Why? Because you will get fail or warning or error or exception in the step status. You will get fail or warning only when. So, if you are getting some error in the UI, if you are getting some exception in the UI, but in the UI there is no red color bar, no error, no exception. That's why in the tracer also on the pa any pages there is no error. In the tracer also uh, we are not getting any error messages or fail status here. So there are two types of issues we can debug using tracer. One is explicitly in the UI you get some error. Uh, we unable to open the instance or rule not found exception or index out of the bounds error. So explicitly when you are getting any error then only you can uh, then you will get some error message in the tracer also you can open that step and see what is the first step having that fail status and what is what is the rule that caused that fail status but this is a second type of issues which you can debug using tracer the second type of issue comes under user will not have any error either in the ui or in the clipboard or in the tracer but we are getting wrong data because of some wrong configuration there is no exception or error, but still we are not getting the intended output. Pega doesn't know that these are not the expected values, right? So there is no exception in no in Java exception, no stack trace error, no index out of the bounds error, nothing like that. But still, this is not the expected output. So as you can see here, these are all the events or rows. As you can see here, dot selected services of one and two, someone is manually setting in this DT. That's why we, whatever earlier it is there, those are not being populated. Someone is manually setting this in the DT. So we have to open the data transform now. From that, actually, I can cl right cl click on the hyperlink to the right side of the tracer row, but this is another way. You open that, click on that step, open that model pop up from the PJ Dynasty, now copy the rule name, 
search in Divine Studio, open the rule in Dev Studio. You can see actually this is created for some testing purpose, but they forgot to remove. So from the view references, I have opened this flow rule. But in this flow rule, I don't know where it is configured. Actually, by, by chance, by, by our sheer luck, I have opened the first connector and it is called here. Otherwise, I have to check that here, 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 everywhere I have to check it. See, apply data transform some test values for invoicing here. The data transform should not be called. So you remove that here and save the rule. It is created and called for testing purpose and they forgot to remove. That's why no, no values are being overrided. Now I have removed that. Again, I am running the case. Now, as you can see, uh, in the next step, only this unlock and uh, replacement key only will be populated. Hence proved. In this way, we can use tracer to de debug our errors. Thank you.